Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the previous video, we studied the indirect method of FM generation. In this video, we are going to study the direct method of FM generation. So, in direct method, FM is generated by using the VCO. VCO stands for voltage control oscillator. It is nothing but a typical sinusoidal oscillator with reactive elements. For example, capacitive element are inductive element. Now in this VCO in the voltage control oscillator, the oscillator frequency varies linearly with the control voltage. So this voltage basically controls the oscillator frequency. That is why it is called the control voltage because this voltage controls the oscillation frequency. Now in uh, direct method of FM generation, this signal is actually our message signal. So this message signal which is basically a voltage signal controls the oscillation frequency. So we can generate an FM wave by using the modulating signal M of T as a control signal. So this control signal which is basically a control voltage signal is going to control the oscillation frequency. So we have the equation omega i of t is equal to omega c t plus k f m of t where this m of t is my modulating signal or the message signal and this signal is going to control the oscillation frequency. This is going to be my voltage signal and this message signal or the voltage signal is going to control my the, the oscillation frequency. Now how we can accomplish this? This can be accomplished by varying the reactive parameters. For example, capacitance or inductance of the resonant circuit of the oscillator. For example, in variactors, in variactor diodes which are also called the vary caps or the volta caps, the capacitance varies with the bias voltage. It varies with the reverse bias voltage. This is the symbol of the variactor diode and this is the graph of the variactor diode. We have the capacitance on y axis, we have the reverse bias voltage on the x axis. You can see that the capacitance is varying with the reverse bias voltage. The capacitance is decreasing with the reverse bias voltage. Now this relationship is non-linear but if I take a limited range, for example if I take a range from here to here, then this range is my linear range. So in this uh, limited range the capacitance is decreasing linearly with the reverse bias voltage. So I have written over here that this capacitance can be approximated as a linear function of the bias voltage over the limited range. Now we know that the frequency of oscillation is given as omega naught is equal to 1 divided by under root LC. Now if the capacitance C is varied by the modulating signal M of T or the message signal M of T then we can write C is equal to C naught minus K M of T. Let me name it as equation 1. So let me place this the value of C over here. So we are going to get omega naught is equal to 1 divided by under root L. And in place of this C I am going to put this thing which will be L into C naught minus K M of T. As a result we are going to have 1 divided by under root L C naught minus L K M of T. Now let me take the L C naught common from here. As a result I am going to get 1 divided by I am going to take L C naught common from here. So this will be my L C naught taken out and this will be 1 minus k m of t divided by c naught. Now I can write this as now I can write this as this this thing as I can write this as 1 divided by under root l c naught and this will be my 1 minus k of m of t divided by c naught power 1 by 2 which means that I can write this as 1 divided by under root LC naught into 1 minus K M of T divided by C naught and this will be now minus 1 by 2 because I have brought it up to the denominator so this will be minus 1 by 2 
now let me name this as equation for example 2 now what I am going to do is that I am going to use the binomial expansion we know that 1 plus x power n is equal to 1 plus nx plus higher order terms when x is less than 1 so here again this km of t divided by c naught is less than 1 so I am going to use this 1 plus x power n this is my x and this is this is 1 and this is my x so this will be 1 of n of x so if I solve this I am going to get 1 divided by under root lc naught 1 plus 1 by 2 km of t divided by c naught so this will be by this equation let me name it as equation 3 now this 1 divided by under root lc naught is actually my omega c so I am going to place omega c over here so this will be omega c 1 plus k of m of t divided by 2 c naught this is my omega of naught so omega of naught is equal to omega c 1 plus k m of t divided divide by 2 c naught so let me name it as equation 4 I can also write this equation as omega naught is equal to omega c plus k into omega c m of t divided by 2 c naught now I am going to compare this with my equation number 1 equation number one if you remember was my this equation omega c plus k of mt so if i compare with that i am going to get this kf is going to be here this is my m of t so this will be my kf this whole thing will be my kf so kf is going to be equal to k omega c divided by 2 omega naught which means that this k is going to be equal to 2 k f c naught divided by omega c now the maximum frequency deviation will be equal to delta c is equal to k into mp i am going to put the value of k over here so this delta c is going to be equal to 2 kf c naught mp divided by omega c which means that delta c divided by c naught is going to be equal to 2 kf mp divided by omega c which is basically equal to 2 delta f divided by fc so the uh, capacitance deviation is providing the frequency deviation so in this way the oscillation frequency is controlled by the message signal now this direct method has poor frequency stability and in practice feedback is used to stabilize the frequency so this, all, this is all about the direct method where we use the VCO the voltage control oscillator thank you